TH stands for Thursday, I am going to click there and save that record. The time is automatically put in. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to run. I'm going back to this form. What I just did was I took information of Thursday data and automatically dropped it into here so I don't have to go through the process of typing all this repetitive stuff. Let me just do it again. And then I'll explain what I'm doing. I go here, I type in TH. I go back to here. I go to the design of this query. I run it. I go back to my form and you see this data is entered. Okay, what have I done? What I did was I created an update query with Thursday data that will a automatically data filled in record as you just saw. And there are five steps to it. One, you in a new record enter the TH as I did. And the date, time, and the primary key will automatically fill in. Two, you make a make table query using the TH as the criteria. Three, you create an update query linking that new table with my new TH I'll explain. Four, you run the update query. Five, you view, you view the form and see how it worked. These are snapshots. There's one snapshot, two snapshots, three snapshots, four snapshots, five snapshots so far. So this was the Thursday data with all sorts of data in it. I took that into a query and then made a table from that query with just that one line of data. This snapshot is the TH with no data with the exception of the date, time, and the primary key. As you can see here, this is the design of the query where I took TH as my criteria and you can see it returned the TH and the date time and that's it. Nothing else was there. This criteria here was developed in this query and you can see there is data there. I'm going to show you a few more snapshots.